Hello everyone. Today we're looking at the 2021 Tesla Model X Long Range Plus. As you can see, this one does have the black leather interior with ash wood decor accents along the interior. Now let's go ahead and take a quick walk around and talk about some of the specs. You do get a fully electronic opening door, which is a neat feature. The exterior color we're looking at today is known as Midnight Silver Metallic, and you do have 20-inch silver alloy wheels. The Model X does have a dual motor electric engine. It has a EPA estimated range of 371 miles, does 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds, and has a top speed of 155 miles an hour. You do have these very strange falcon doors. They kind of look like a bird opening its wings. Spoiler right here. As you can see, this one is charging. Let's go ahead and check out the very weird, interesting interior of this Model X. Door panels are right here, lots of leather, and there's actually not a lot of cubby spaces. There's only a cubby space here on the bottom. Your wood grain accents right here with this very wavy pattern. All your window controls. Now let's go ahead and close the car. As you can see that it was fully automatic. I just slightly pulled on the door and it automatically closed. Your cockpit right here, volume controls, display brightness, I, and I'm controlling this with the infotainment buttons, actually the same buttons that you can use for the infotainment system and the cockpit, and there's actually only two controls. And you do get a three-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel with only two controls to interact with the cockpit and the infotainment system, as well as more controls right here. Another one right here for your windshield wipers. Two air vents. A humongous touchscreen, it's like insanely large. Let's go ahead and go to quick controls. Here you can control suspension, lights, driving, autopilot, vehicle, display, it's very bright. Trips. Navigation. Service. And software. This one does have 265 miles on it. And I could also name the vehicle if I wanted to. But I'm not going to demonstrate that. An electronic owner's manual. All your radio controls right here. Radio. 
all these streaming things, Spotify, karaoke, Sirius XM, all your inter- entertainment things, and now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the infotainment system. You do get a calendar and also multiple cameras. So here you can see what's behind me and there you can see what's on the other sides of the vehicle. Only one of the cameras are loading for some reason. You can see the window on the left camera. All your consumption information. As I said earlier in the, earlier in the video, it is charging. Now we are in the web. Here is Tesla's official site. All of their lineup. Entertainment. Such as YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, and many more. Unfortunately, it did not load. And you can make disgusting noises also. Which is kind of cool and sometimes disgusting. Lol. Dual zone climate control as well as three stage heated seats for the driver and the passenger. A cubby space right here. Very deep. A small cubby space right here, also with a 12 volt power outlet, two cup holders with your wood grain accents, and a center console. Well, there is not actually a center console, they're just armrests that are movable. I will demonstrate the glove box very soon. A rear view mirror. I wish they would have added garage door settings on the mirror itself instead of the infotainment system. Your glass roof. And the sun visors are actually in a very strange place. They are all Contero wrapped, by the way. So you have to kind of like push a little bit and then it will detach as you can see it will automatically attach to the metal part where the mirror is and you have to tug it like mad sometimes sometimes you just have to tug it a little bit and sometimes you have to tug it like mad or like a lot Let's go ahead and check out the glove box. Press right here. And the glove box opens. Nice and soft touch. And your window sticker right here. Now let's go ahead and check out the rear seats.
It's really strange how the doors open. An air vent right here. There's lots of space back here. Very soft plastic. Two air vents. As well as two USB ports. And there's actually two cup holders right here also. Here's what it looks like from the rear seats. Now let's go ahead and check out the cargo area. Especially at this price point, you do get a power lift gate. Since this one does not have the six seater or seven seater option, you get lots of space back here. I could personally fit back here and be comfortable actually, surprisingly. There's more storage under here. It's very deep. First aid kit is included. Volvo power outlet for when you are camping. Now let's go ahead and close the trunk. This car does indeed feel like a NASA spaceship. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and leave your car review suggestions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.